welcome to the introduction to the multi-ray benzene from Ray Systems. The multi-ray benzene gives multi-gas functionality along with benzene specific measurement via the multi uh, cartridge. Operationally speaking this works in exactly the same way as the regular multi-ray um, which you'll be able to see in one of our other videos. Uh, charging is via the bottom ports. Uh, there is a removable rechargeable battery or alkaline battery pack available. Um, we've obviously got the twist um, adapter to attach the belt clip and then the benzene uh, tube, specific tube assembly on the top of the instrument. So at the moment we can see we're in uh, total VOC measurement uh, mode and you can also flick it into B benzene measurement mode which we'll look at in a bit more detail. So at the moment we want to keep it in total VOC measurement mode. You can see there's a hydrophobic filter at the top and a multi, uh, multi point tube operation. Um, so, to operate the instrument, we'll turn it on and then it will go through its standard startup procedure. Uh, firstly, it lets us know to install the cartridge and place the monitor in TVOC mode, so we can see we are in TVOC mode at the moment. Um, we acknowledge that and say yes. Now that just purely means that the gas is passing through the central column of the instrument. This gives it a free flow without impeding, being impeded by any of the tubes at the top of the instrument. And it will start its standard startup procedure. We can see we've got multi-gas sensors installed and then it will do a general sensor warm up and this unit happens to be set for a zero to start up. So this is going to zero the detector and get it ready for use. So now we can see that the sensor warm up is complete and it's asking us to do a fresh air calibration on the enabled sensors at the moment which happen to be just LEL and VACs. So we'll start the fresh air calibration and then it's a 60 second countdown to complete that fresh air calibration. So the zero calibration is now complete and we can see that it's passed on both sensors. So the fresh air calibration reading is giving us 0% LEL and 0% VOCs and then it will go into standard measurement operation. So we can see we're now getting a general standard reading. Um, VOC set to isobutylene, so I'm getting a little bit in the background, and our LEL, which is set to methane. Um, this will operate as normally as per any normal multi-ray instrument. So we can scroll through our to start a tube and start the benzene sampling. Scroll across and see any peaks, minimum, short-term exposure level, if you've um, had enough time and a time where a predicted time weighted average, uh, time and date settings, temperature of the instrument at the moment, the battery type that's installed, so we can see we've got a lithium ion battery installed, and where our shutoff voltage is, the current runtime, previous runtime, calibration gases and correction factors, um, same for the LEL gas. Uh, enter communication mode, so if we want to um, communicate with the software and uh, equally if we want to communicate with an auto to calibration station. So if we want to do a benzene specific measurement we can use this as a general all-purpose multi-gas monitor and then say we had a heightened VOC reading and we wanted to check for the presence of benzene. So to conduct a general benzene measurement we want to flick into benzene selection mode, so across one and then it says tube ready start sampling. Yes, I'll say that you install the cartridge if it's not already installed, which is this top section there, and then switch to benzene mode. So to switch to benzene mode, we flick from the T up at the top here over to the B. So this is now taking the sample through this front tube here. So it's doing a benzene sample through this specific tube, the one that's lined up here. So the next stage is to hit yes, and it'll say select and break the ends of the appropriate tube. So we want to break the ends of this tube, and to do that, we push down each of these yellow tacks and you can hear the tube snap. So you can actually see that tube is now snapped and ready to take a benzene sample. So to begin the measurement, hit yes, and then it's a 90 second countdown on your benzene measurement. At the end of 90 seconds, or dependent on the temperature of the instrument itself, um, it will alter the amount of sample time required and then give us a benzene specific measurement. So we can see our benzene sample has now been taken and we have 0.9 ppm uh, benzene in the current sample. You can now continue to run an additional test. So if I scroll across once, uh, we can then do an additional test by scrolling across again to the next tube and then snap the ends again and perform an additional test. Or we can purely abort and it'll say remove the cartridge and return to TVOC mode. So to flick it back into TVOC mode, 
back into the tea. So we're now in total volatile organics, uh, cross again, and then we're in broad spectrum VOC measurement once again. Everything operationally is exactly the same as the general multi-ray instrument. There is another video on our YouTube channel going through the operation of that specific device. But again, to go through that briefly, uh, holding the mode and no button simultaneously, it will ask for a password. As standard, this is 0, 0, 0, 0. And now we're into the back menu. So we've got calibration span, zero settings. We've got our measurement settings, so things like correction factors, etc. We've got our alarm settings, any data log settings you might have enabled. Uh, if you had a wireless enabled unit, we would have some wireless options to talk to the echo view or similar things. And then the general monitor setup settings. So to go back, we can go back to general measurement mode and then to switch the instrument off, turn off. If you want to look at the multi-ray um, in any more detail, take a look at our multi-ray video, which is also on our YouTube channel, and that'll go through some of the menus in a bit more detail. But hopefully this gives you a good old idea of the multi-ray benzene's functionalities. Uh, the multi-benzene um, sampler at the top, um, the removal tubes, the Recept tube samples at the top is the key difference between this and general multi-ray instruments along with the lower voltage lamp. Um, this can operate as a general multi-ray device without the um, tube assembly on the top. Hope you found this useful. Alternatively, you can go and visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk or do give us a call on 01489 890 458 between 9 and 5 Monday to Friday or outside of normal working hours please do give us a call on 07951 854 824. We're here when you need us and we understand that the normal 9 to 5 day doesn't always apply so please do feel free to give us a call. Thanks for visiting and we hope to see you again soon.